All right, this is MTG Buddha back today. Uh, I'm going to do a, another draft. We're going to do another traditional draft. Um, we'll see how this goes. This should go pretty quick since the set just come out. Um, there should be a plenty of people in the queue. Yeah, like that. So hopefully everyone clicks ready pretty quick. And we can get this draft going. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I want to draft just yet. Um, what the I'm not sure it's still early, so I'm not sure what the best thing. Oh, okay, I tell you right now what I'm taking. I will give everyone three guesses what the first card I'm taking is, and the first two guesses don't count. We're gonna take Lily. We are gonna take the Lily. Each player discards a card. Target player sacrifices a creature. If you get it up to six, you can separate all permanents that your opponent controls into two piles. And then they sacrifice the permanence in the pile of their choice. So, yeah. Lily is just really good. For three mana, that's just that's just such a good card. So, we're definitely going to take that. Let's just kind of look through and see what else is in here. Um, if we're going to play her, we might wind up in some kind of like blue-black controlly type thing. Or um, Domain is really good. I've done Domain a couple times so far. This card's a really good card. If you can get into the blue-green... Um, and there's plenty of ways to get the dual lands, so we're just going to go ahead and take Lily. That is a definite first pick. Um, this card is really good. The last draft I did, it annoyed the crap out of me. I had a guy that played three of these, like, turn after turn after turn on my creatures to just tap them down and kill me. Um, let's see. That's okay. This one's not bad. This card's actually really good um, if you're able to kick it. Um, I actually made a copy of the Territorial Morrow. So I had it made a 10 10. Yeah, so I think I'm going to take this. We might try to be a little controlly. And I don't know. I haven't really tried to do much of a control type thing in this draft format yet. So we might wind up being kind of controlly. This is going to want, you know, me to do stuff to my opponent so we might try to do like some kind of like blue black type of thing um of course we could always wind up you know taking these types of lands and wind up doing a whole bunch of different colors and it's you know it's perfectly feasible in this draft format um i don't think we take temporary lockdown impulse is good there's no black cards in this pack that I'm like super excited about. This is an okay card. It's not a great card, but it's okay. Um, this card's pretty decent. Taking dual lands could be all right at this point, but uh, impulse is a pretty good card as well. Um, if there was a blue black land, I might would consider a blue black land. Um, blue green is okay. I think. I think I might actually take a land here. The question is, do I want the red or the green? I think I want the green. Um, I think, depending on what's in this, I might wind up taking that one as well. Each one lose X, Y, put X is number to feed energy control. That could be, we. this could be our defender deck. I actually like this card right here. Um, Orborg's Urborg Repossession. There we go. Um, it that card is really good to bring things back um especially like if my lily dies i can kick this and i can get lily back with the kick part so hopefully that'll come back around but i think i'm going to take this we might try to do the defender thing we might we might try to do that because there is a, a defender subtype in this set so we could very well draft the defender subtype and try that so we may take this uh, since it's a defender. So we might take that and see if we can do the whole defender thing. Uh, this is domain. This is just instant though. Creature against death is indestructible. All right, I think we'll prob. I think we might try to do the, the defender thing. I said earlier in one of my other drafts that the def the defender subtype looked like it could be interesting to try to do. So I think we might actually do that. We'll see how it goes. Because blue, black, and green are where most of your defenders are. There's defenders in every color, and then there's colorless ones as well. But um, So I think what we're going to do is we're going to prioritize defenders. 
and then we're going to prioritize these lands as well. So do I want the blue, white, or do I want the green, white? I think I want the blue, white at this point because I've already got a blue, green. I think I take the blue, white. All right, here is a blue, black. So this is one of these is probably going to come back around. I don't think people are valuing this as highly as they should. Um, I could take a counter spell here. Um, or I could take another one of these lands. This is this could actually be good in my in the defender deck if I'm doing the defender deck and I have a bunch of instants and sorceries. This could be good. Um, do I take? It? Yeah, we'll take it. All right, so we've got another defender. So we'll probably just take this defender. Because like I said, I think we're going to try to do the defender thing. So whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you may draw a card to do this card. It's true. Okay, yeah, so that's pretty cool. We'll take that. Um, do we have anything here? This isn't a defender, but it's it might as well be. I mean, it's a four mana, two, five. Scribes. Yeah, I think we take this. Yeah. Um, this is a defender. So we probably take it. Yeah, we'll take we're gonna, we're gonna try the defender thing. It looks like the defenders are coming around. So I don't I'm not sure how well the defender deck's gonna work. So this could be really good, it could be really bad. So far, what would we look like? We've got one one drop. Um okay, so at this point we don't have I could take this, but I think I'm gonna take the land. Because if we are going to do defenders, we're going to need all of our lands. So currently we've got three dual lands. Um, we may take this guy at this point. I don't know if he'll make the deck. We'll put him in the sideboard. Because if we are doing instant sorcery shenanigans, then that could be good. Um, this is not a defender, but let's see. What does this one do? This artifacts. Yeah. We'll take this. It could wind up making the deck. And we'll take that as well um okay so what do we got here domain this is the one where you make the three threes mm. see so cut down could be something we take i don't see any defenders no citizens arrest is a pretty good card um yeah, I don't see any defenders, but I think cut down is just the I think that's just the pick. Cause it's a it's a kill spell. It's it's it is conditional, but it does take care of a lot of things. Like it wouldn't take care of this, but it would take care of a lot of things. So I think we take the Yeah, I think we take the cut down. And there's another cut down. Okay. Um do we have any defenders in this pack? We do have a defender there. Uh target creature. With defender gains to hasten attack of those that didn't have defender and assigns damage equal to its toughest runner's power. That's actually kind of cool, but I don't know as though anybody's going to be super psyched about taking that because nobody's been taking defenders so far. Because currently we have, well, it doesn't say defender there. Um, let's go back. Well, we're going to preemptively put that on there. We got one, two, three, four, four defenders so far. Mm. Yeah, I think we still take the cut down. Okay, so we have another defender here. Let's see, put a counter on each of up to two creatures. Yeah, I think we probably wind up taking this barricade. Because it's going to be another defender for us. We're going to try to do the whole defender thing. This should be interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about the defender deck. Let's see, we've already got one of this and it's legendary, so I don't feel I need to take another one of these. If there was a good instant or sorcery in here, I might would take it, but I don't see a good instant or sorcery. Um, so we may take this, but we'll have to see. We've already got one of these. I don't know if, I don't know about this one. So three, um, 
would I rather have this with kicker and flying? Uh, tell you what, we're going to take the land. Okay, so this one. Let me sacrifice. Do you do? Return her to the creature from your graveyard. Um, that's okay. Let's see. We may take impulse here, or we could take lightning strike. What kind of colors do I have down here? So, blue, black. Let's see. So I have one, two, three, four. I have four duels so far. Um, I don't have a blue black duel though. But I think lightning strike may be better than impulse for me in this deck. So we'll take lightning strike. Um, we do have options on lands here, so that's good. Um, let's see. This is a possibility we may take that. Bone Splinters is nice. Um, I have cut down already to kill something. That lightning strike will help me to possibly kill something. Um, we're either taking this or we're taking the Bone Splinters. I think I just take the bone bone splinters right here. I'd rather have the kill spell, counter target non creature spell, counter target creature spell. I'm if I'm gonna take one of the counter spells, it's probably gonna be the creature spell as opposed to non creature. So we'll take the counter. Um, let's see. So we got meteorite, no defenders. Let's see. So this creature so creature gets minus two minus two. It was kicked. Each has instruction gear, so we'll probably take that. Yeah, I think that's probably what we take. Mm, yeah, we'll take that. So that's a good one. Let's see. So this one. Could take this, or I could take this. So my creature count look like nine. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. It might not make a cut, but we'll see. All right, so this defender did come back. Like I said, I don't think anybody else is doing the defender thing, so we'll probably take the defender. Um, let's see, so we've got that, that. Could take this. I think I'll take that. Um, probably take one of those. We could take that. You know, we'll take this. I don't know if either of those will make the cut. I think we're going to take that. We'll take that. There's going to be some of these that aren't going to make the cut. Let's see this one. So, enters the battlefield tap. Players can't pay life to cast spells or abilities. Um, let's see. So, pay X to have it destroy each non land permit with X or less. So, that's basically a board wipe. Um, I think I probably would just rather have this kill spell. Because my deck isn't going to be the kind of deck that wants to just reset. And it's going to exile. Uh, but then it exiles this and then it destroys the thing. So this will probably come back around again. Because nobody took it last pack. I doubt anybody's going to be taking it this pack. So I think I just take the kill spell here. Let's see. So let's move this out for now. All right, so what have we got? Okay, so other elves get plus one plus. That's the elf lord. I don't think I have elves, do I? No, I have no elves, so that's not going to do any helping. Let's see, so scry to draw a card. If spells kick, put a land from your hand on the battlefield. That might be worth taking. There's impulse. Um, there are no defenders. Yeah, I think we'll take the joint exploration. That's my curve look like right now. So that's going to be probably not making the cut. All right, let's see. We got the Raven Man, which I'm not super fond of, but I mean, it is a thing. Let's see, so there are no defenders here. So we may just take the land. There's nothing here that I'm super psyched on. Let's see, 
Yeah, I think we'll just take the land. All right, there's another land that I could take to see. All right, we'll actually take this, probably, is what we're going to take. This would be good to take as well. But I think this might come back around. We've got one, two, three, four, five, ten, eleven. So there's eleven cards left. So I'm going to get something else back out of this pack. And this is probably one of the things that will come back around because nobody else seems to be taking defenders heavily. So I think we'll take this. So this is going to let me fix my mana up some. And then we get another copy of this. So that's coming around. So that's okay. Um, I could also take that. I might rather have this. It's a 1-4 as opposed to this being a 1-3. This does let me go get another defender. This is good. This is a kill spell. Um, let's see. Do I want this or do I want the other kill spell? I think I take the defender. We're gonna. We're, I would normally take the kill spell, but I think in this case, I think I'm just going to take the defender. So we may potentially take the land here. Um, I'm surprised that the card didn't come back around earlier to let me get things back from my graveyard. I should have taken one of those. Maybe I'll see one. I still got a couple picks left before. So um yeah let's take the land. I might be over the value valuing the lands right now but so I think we might take this at this point. Yeah, we'll take that. Um, so we've got another defender here. Of course, we also have this defender. How many of that defender do I have? Currently, I have one of him. This one will let me get a, a land out of my deck, though, so we'll take it. Um, we'll take this defender. Um, we'll probably take the impulse here. Yeah, we'll take the impulse. Um, hopefully that other defender comes back around that lets me go get defenders out of my deck. Um, I think we may, we will, you know, we'll take this, I think. Yeah, we'll take that. All right, so it did come back around. So we get that one, and it might, I might actually get two of them, because I think they were back-to-back -back packs. I think, well, no, it didn't. Might have been the pack after that. So it might have, might be the last pick that comes around. I don't know. This is going to be a weird deck. I'm not sure how I feel about the defenders. So we're going to see how this shakes out. It might, it might be an 0-3 deck. I don't know. But my defenders can guard Liliana. So let's pull all this out. Just dump all this. And we're going to start out by just going and getting all the defenders. So we're just going to type in defender up here. And we're just going to get all the defenders. So, so currently we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten defenders. All right, so we have ten defenders for the deck. Let's go ahead. Let's see. We'll probably take this because we do have several kickers. We'll do one of those. Uh, we'll put this in. He's not a defender, but he might as well be. Um. Let's see other creatures that I might put in. All right, so we're gonna play the Lily. We're gonna play this removal spell. We'll play both of these and the Bone Splinters. We'll play that, 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 that. We got room for one more card. Do I play this? I still don't have Lightning Strike in the deck. Do I have how many red sources do I have? All right, so currently. Dual land wise, we have a green, blue, black, green, red, black, red, blue, and two blue whites. Okay. So, I can't believe I'm not playing Lightning Strike. Wow. Let's see. What's my cut? Uh, I have 13 creatures, is all I have. So, I don't have a lot of creatures. Um,. Let's go through and sort through these. So let's put all my defenders. Oh, pulled that out and didn't mean to. All right, bone splinters. All right, so we're going to move. Let's see, instances and sorceries. Put all our defenders in one pile. 
it's just regular creature. Uh, it's a, not a kill spell. We'll consider a counter spell a kill spell because it gets creature off the board. So, uh, so that's another non creature, non creature, defender, not a defender. All right, so let's see. So this is a kill spell. All right, so currently these are our creatures that we have. Um, this one's going to let us find something. This one's going to let us scrap. We get enough mana. Um, I mean, I need to play this card. This needs to be in the deck. My curve is low enough. I think I could actually probably go 16 lands. I mean, I would really like to run this as well. But I think we can go 16 lands. We'll cut one of the swamps. I think we have a low enough curve. I think that's okay. Because we've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, essentially five ways to kill things. Well, six ways to kill things. This is going to let me scry and draw. And I can put an additional land in play if I kick it. Uh, this is going to let me find a card. This is going to tap one of their creatures down and scry. Lily's going to do Lily things. We're going to get a land. Uh, the domain isn't really going to be that big in my deck. Um, but basically, it's going to go get me a land. So, I mean, I could cut that. If I cut that, I either bring in a Lightning Strike or I bring this guy in. You know, I think I do cut that, and I think I bring this guy in. Because he does things with this as a sorcery. So, let's see what's... All right, so you may cast sorceries as though they have flash. Um, do I have sorceries? Uh, curiosity, I think all mine are instants. Oh, no, I do have a sorcery. So I have one sorcery, so I could cast bone splinters against the speed. Um, and whenever he attacks, I may pay two. If I do, my next instant sorcery spell can be copied. So that's pretty cool, actually. I like that. That's not bad. Um, I could double up my kill spells. And my kill spells are fairly cheap for the most part. So, yeah, I think I, I think I do it that. Let's see. All right, and let's see if it suggests any different good lands. Yeah, it'll suggest a red land and a green land. Okay. So I have two of these, so I will need a green. Let's see what my... So it looks like we have 10 blue, 8 black, 1 red, 1 white, and 2 green. So... Of course, it's got me running 17 lands, so we'll take one land out because I don't feel like I need 17 in this deck. This deck feels like a 16 deck land deck. All right, we'll see what happens. This could go bad, but we're going to try the defender thing. Uh, the, a few of my defenders have abilities where I can do things with equal to the number of defenders I control. So, like, familiar my opponent equal to the number of defendant, defenders I control, or I think one of them was, like, gaining life or something. I don't remember. But we're going to see what happens with this defender sub deck. I didn't get as many defenders as I thought I would. I thought maybe I would be the only person taking any of the defenders. Um, you know what? I think we'll go ahead and keep it. It's not great. But we have this return one. And on turn two, we can play this guy. And hopefully by that turn, we will have drawn a land, which we did not. But we can still play this guy. Um, we have the 3-3 three, three defender. So each opponent loses X life, where X is the number of creatures you control. That's what it was. So this one, you have to, ta yeah, you have to tap him. Um, so block. So we will block. All right. Oh, it has death touch. I didn't know that it had death touch. That's annoying. All right, so I guess we'll play this. Did not draw a land. So this was probably not a good keep for me. Yep, not a good keep. Um, we will block there. So I'm taking the two. And yeah, I still didn't draw a land, so I can't do anything. 
Um, actually, is there any spells that I can cast? Nope. Well, this is going to be a fairly short game. Since I am not going to draw lands. If I don't draw a land this next turn, I'm probably just going to concede and go to game two. We'll block to activate this ability. We'll mailing for one. What did we mail? We mailed a defender. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I feel like we're dead here. Yeah, that is a land, but it comes in tap, so we're going to concede. We'll go to game two. Um, let's see. Don't really know if there's anything that I would want to bring in at this point. I think I just need to keep a better hand. That's all there is to it. All right, we'll go. I didn't see a whole lot of his deck. I only saw, let's see, I saw 10 cards, including lands. So I saw three planes and one swamp and one crystal grotto. Okay, and then we saw the 4-4 four, four reach guy. We saw the defender creature that I milled. The 4-4 four, four that gets cheaper for the creatures you have. The one that lets you filter mana. The little quack, uh, mana worker. And then, uh, however you say that, the sadistic pilgrim. So we saw those. Those are the only things we really saw. So, I don't know. I don't think he saw enough of my deck to really know what I'm doing, other than the fact that I had two defenders, which could just be I had them in my deck. Doesn't necessarily mean that I'm playing defenders. So, yeah, this is better. I think we keep this. We can play this turn one, turn two, do this um, to go find another land. Or, yeah, I, mean, I could always play this guy turn one. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll play him out turn one. Turn two, we'll play this guy to go get another land. Um, yeah, so play this guy, go get another land. So this is the land we get. So, all right, so one, two kill spells, three skill spells got put on the bottom of my deck. All right, so I actually feel like I have to play this land instead of the one that I got. Because I need the blue. And of course, next turn, I think I played this guy next turn. All right, and he's going to look at my hand to make me discard something. That's annoying. So he discarded that one. All right, so we'll play this. We'll play this. So I have one blue mana. So I think I play the land he's seen next turn. Okay, so he's stuck on lands this time. Or do I... You know what, I think I go on and attack with this. Let's see if he blocks. He does, okay. I'm going to say, he might, at that point, he might not have blocked... Um, so I think I'm going to play the land he didn't, one of these lands he didn't see, and then play this because I want to be able to scry with this before I go to my next turn. That's an annoying card. All right, scry. Um, yeah, we'll keep that. That's fine. Okay, so currently I have one, two... Three, four, um, so playing this won't give me another domain, so we'll go ahead and, let's go ahead and play this guy, when I get to look at the top four, okay, so, hmm, let's go on this battlefield, I think I take this, 
and put it in my hand? Oh, it goes on top, not in my hand. Okay. So in that case, I think I played this land. And then that has Death Touch, so I don't think I attack. If he attacks with this, I think I block it with this. Because I want to keep my Scry Guy around. I'm going to have the two blue to play this next turn. Or, yeah, and I'll have the red from that. So I'll be able to play that next turn. Of course, he already knows I have this land. I didn't realize this kept it on top. I thought I put it in their hand. Yeah, on top of your library. Okay, so that's not as good as I thought it was. I thought I was going to get to put it in my hand. So, all right. So, I think we just pass at this point. We don't attack in. Okay. And I don't... Let's see. You know, we'll block with this. That's fine. If he has a trick, he's got a trick. And he has a trick, of course. They always have a trick. Whoever I'm playing, it's never a question. They have a trick. They're going to have a trick. That's all there is to it. All right. So, and of course, now I have the counter spell. Um, which is going to do me zero good now. Yeah, so that does me no good whatsoever right now. I need one of my kill spells. And then I can attack, pay the two, and cast my skill, kill spell and copy it and kill this and this. <sighs> Let's see. I'm going to double block like that. You can only kill one of them, so I take five, and then I take damage off that. If I draw a kill spell, I'll be in, uh, let's see, do I do this here? I don't think I care about that. That's fine. A one three isn't something I'm worried about. That is something I'm more worried about. So we'll kill, we'll counter that. And I'm just going to draw lanes now. Just gonna draw lands. Just gonna draw lands. Yep. This is not going very well. And the thing is, is like I don't even know if this is because it's a defender deck and that's what's giving me the problems, or if I'm just not drawing good hands. It could just be that I'm not drawing well. Could be the defender deck is perfectly fine. But it's not looking like it so far. So, yeah, we're just going to concede. We're we're dead at this point. There's no reason to really keep going there. All right, so we lost the first round. There's no reason to keep going at that point. All right, let's go and go to game two, see what happens. See if we can make this defender thing work. If this doesn't work, I will probably not draft the defender deck ever again. Oh my goodness, it's so bad. Um, you know what, I think I will keep this. I can turn one, play this, turn two, impulse, and go find something that I need. Hopefully finding a green land or something good. So we'll keep it. It's not the best hand, but if I do impulse and find a green land, then I can play these back to back and start trying to find. Um, let's see. Yeah, so I think we just passed because we do this at instant speed. So we'll do that on his turn. Alright, so I think we're going at impulse while he's got that on the stack. Um, so uh I didn't find what I wanted. Okay. 
I have to take a land. I feel like at this point. And I think I'm better off just taking the black land. I could take this and just hope to draw a land. Yeah, we'll take that and just hope to draw a land. Because if I draw... Well, okay, so I didn't draw a land. But I do have this that I can do and hope. I hit a land off this. Let's see. So, scry two, then draw. So, we're just going to scry two, then draw. So, I did not get find a land. So, we're going to actually have to put... Uh, yeah, I think I just had to put them both on the bottom. Still not find a land. Okay. So, that stinks. I would have liked to have had a green land. If I had a green land, I think I'd be in a whole lot better shape. I'd be able to do these. All right, we did find a land. Um, let's see. I think I just pass turn, and then I have this available to counter something. I have this available to kill this if I need to. Uh, yeah, I think I just want to counter that. Um, yeah, we'll block. Sure. No reason not to at that point. All right, so we did find a land. So it's going to give me red and black. Still not giving me the green that I want, but we will play this, which is going to give me three that I get to look at. Ooh, do I, I think I just take the lily. Yeah. It's, I, I really need this white. But if there was a green, I might would have to take the green, but I think I'm just going to take the lily. So next turn we can play lily because I will have double black next turn. So I can play lily. Yeah, and I will have creatures that can block to protect Lily. So the question is, do I plus one? Because it's each player, so you have to discard a card as well. So I don't know if I want to discard a card next turn initially. If I, I might do it. I don't know. <clears throat> what is that? I don't even know what this card is. Whenever you cast a spell that targets only a single artifact or creature you control, Create a token that's a copy of that's a stupid card. That's just plump stupid. Alright, well, we will block with our O3. Alright, so we're gonna play Lily. And we're gonna say Do I wanna make him sacrifice a creature? I think I'm better off making him sacrifice a creature. I think that's what I'm better off doing. So we get the enlist off the battlefield. We pass, and then I can, I have defenders to block and protect Lily. So I can start ticking up Lily. So the plan would be hopefully to get all of my, to get all the cards out of my hand and just be able to start every turn playing um, a card, and then ticking Lily up. So we'll cut him down next turn. Because him having flying is going to be annoying. Okay, so we did draw a land. So I'm going to start out by going cut down on him. So if he casts a... Yeah, he's going to counter that. So now that's going to get bigger. Um, so we're going to plus. Uh, we'll discard the draw bridge because I don't have the white to even play it. And then he's going to kill my Lily next turn. Yeah. So then I'm going to play this. I don't have any defenders with reach, which is stupid. Um, so 
Some of the defenders should have reach. I'm sorry. They're defenders. They need to have reach. Um, let's see. Do I take this or that? I think I take this. Um, do I have anything? No, I do not have anything to do. So we're going to have to not attack and let him kill my lily next turn because he's going to fly over and kill my lily. Stupid idiot. Okay, so we'll play the land that he's already seen. We'll play another one of these. Going to get another land. So I think we take, wow. Um, so I think we take the red land, just the untapped land. Next, I think we attack with this. Let me see if he blocks it. Okay, so in turn. And if I get any of my um, defenders that have actual power, I can start making it so they can attack. Oh, wait a second. They actually deal tough damage equal to their tough... Oh, so he can actually attack. Because he would attack for... Yeah, that's actually... You know what? We're going to do that. We're going to target him. Because he will attack as a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about the text where it says they assign damage equal to their toughness. So, yeah, that's actually not bad. Okay, that's that's annoying. So he's going to be able to block this one and kill it. Or he's going to double block here. Okay. Yeah, he should have double blocked. I don't know why he didn't do that. All right. And then he says, oops. Well, that's a stupid card. Now I can't attack with my defenders. I don't even have a defender to block this thing. All right, let's see. What do I get? All right, so we can lock this thing down. Yes, and we are going to pay the ward cost. Uh, we will keep that. Mm. What does it get? This one, this one, it to show for you. Okay, so we will make it so this can attack. Attack with it. So that's not going to untap for three turn for three untaps. So. And then next turn, I'll play this to kill his chin. Um, okay, well, we will block and block. I assume he's got some kind of spell. No, he didn't actually. Okay. So, let's see. How many instant sorcerers do I have in my deck? I have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I got plenty. All right. So, we're going to cast this with Kicker. And we're going to give that. Bunch of minuses. I'm gonna target this. Combat attack. So he's gonna block there. All right. Well, in turn, let him think we still have something in hand. Um, this doesn't untap next turn, so I'll get two more attacks with this potentially. Yeah. So. I need to get rid of that. Um, yeah, I don't have any good attacks here. We're just going to play this land and pass. I don't have a good attack there. When I played these, the cards I revealed with those, I actually wound up putting like a bunch of them on the bottom of my deck. A bunch of my defenders. Okay. Alright, so we get another one of this guy. So we have another one, but this is untapped now. So we're pretty much dead. And let's see. And I think he won. Didn't he win the first game? Or is this? This is the first game. Yeah. Okay. So I'm dead. Yeah. We'll just go ahead and see. Go to game two. 
All right, so is there anything that I need to work to do in here that would be better for me? Um, anything that I could take out You know, I think I might take this creature out and put this creature in. I think I might put that in. Although, Lightning Strike might be better to put in. You know, we'll take Lightning Strike. We'll, we'll try that. We'll see what happens with this. Alright, so... Not sure exactly how this is going to work. We saw a decent amount of his cards. We saw 19 cards from him. So we saw, let's see, we saw two mountains, four islands, one plains, and then we didn't see any duels. Okay, so, um, you know what, I think, yes, I think we keep, we play this turn one, turn two, we can play this guy, find another land. Because, I mean, if we look at the top six, we're going to find a land. I mean, that's I think that's fine. This isn't the greatest hand in the world, but it's it's keepable, I think. Especially with this guy in hand. If I didn't have this guy in hand, I would probably not have kept it. Alright, so we'll play this. Play this to go find the land. Alright, so now the question is which land do I want? Alright, so I have white that I need. I already have blue, green. Uh, do I have? I don't have any way to get white. Um, do I have black already? I have black. I have blue and green. So I might need red. So I think I take this. Yeah, we'll take this dual land. It'll give me access to more colors of mana. So, and do these get? I think these are just random on the bottom. Yeah, because it doesn't let you order them, so they don't go on the bottom in a specific order so all right so we'll play this dual land and we'll pass turn and then we have essence scatter here to counter our spell or if he doesn't play anything i can always impulse to go find something so if he doesn't play anything here i will impulse which he didn't so i will impulse does he counter my impulse Okay, so with impulse, do I take this? I might actually, I think I do take this. Yeah, I think I take this. Because I've got lands, and this will let me go get one of the defenders out of my deck. Yeah, we'll take this. We'll draw for turn. We'll play a land. Uh, I don't think it matters which land so much we play. And then we'll play this. Which is going to let me go get a defender out of my deck. Going defenders, baby. Oh, and he's gonna burn it. But I still get to. I still get the trigger. I still get to go get the defender. Doesn't matter that you burned it. All right. So which defender do I want? That's in my deck. So this is the one that makes them meal. This is the one that makes them lose life. I don't have another one that goes and gets another defender. Um, I have this defender in hand. This defender in hand. I think I probably take the mill defender. Or you no, know, we're gonna take the blight pop. We're gonna take that. That's the defender we want. Because next turn we're gonna play a land. We'll play the, the uh blight pile and we'll play this. So one, two, three, four, five, yeah. We'll play two defenders next turn. Alright, so we are gonna play this because he already knows we have that. Then we're going to play this land, and then we're going to play this. All right. And then next turn, I can play this, and I can turn this into a 5-5 five five that I can attack with. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun. We'll attack with a 5-5 five five defender. Sounds fun. Let's see. In instant sorcery spells, I may draw and discard. Okay, yeah. So he's doing stuff that doesn't look like it's going to work very well right now. So I think we're going to play this guy. 
And I think we use two. So we're going to specifically tap for this. So we're going to tap this and this. Using this to give this to be able to attack. We attack with it. And then we in turn and we hold up Essence Scatter for the creature that he's probably going to cast this turn. Because he has access to Wooberg now. And if you're not familiar with the term Wooberg, that's what this is. It stands for, it's how you say all the colors in magic. It's white, blue, uh, black, red, green. Um, let's take the action. Let's draw and discard. Um, I think I will discard the land. So he has one green left. Does he have another spell? I don't have any way to block flying, so I didn't want to have to deal with the flying creature. So, and it's whenever another creature enters the battlefield, he gets plus one, plus one as well. That's a card that's in the way, so I don't like that card. Um, so I think I want to... So I could play this. If I play that, then I could kick this and put the land that I get into play. Yeah, let's do, yeah, let's, well, actually, I can't kick that if I do that, because I won't have a green to kick it. Um, I could just go ahead and play this and match his guy. I think that's what we'll do. We'll just play that. And I have one, two, three, four. I have four defenders right now. So if I wanted to, I could start using this to do four to me. I can play this out next turn and do five to him. Yeah, because I have the mana to do that next turn. So that's always a possibility. Play this, get a land, play the land, and then tap three and do five to him. That might be my plan for next turn. If he attacks with this, I don't know if I would even bother blocking. I think I just take two here. Yeah, two. All right, let's see. So he is going to attack. Um, and I think I'll just go ahead and block it. We'll trade them off. That's fine. Um, so, okay, so we have this one. All right, we're going to play this one and find a land. And I'll oh, cut down. Cut down would be good right now. To, no, it actually wouldn't because it wouldn't do anything to any of them. Um, let's see, which one do we want? Do we want to attack land or untap land? I want access to white mana, so I need white mana, so we'll take that. Um, and then, do I play this or just go ahead and start taking him down? Mm. I think I might just go ahead and start taking him down. I currently have one, two, three, four, five defenders. Yeah, let's go ahead and just activate this ability. Yeah, that's fine. He can attack me for seven. I'll drain him for five or six next turn. Because I'll cast this and then I don't ha I won't have the white next turn to be able to tap something down, but I will be able to tap something down the turn after that. Okay, so now the question is, do I block this, or do I just take the damage? I think I just take the damage this turn. Because he's got some kind of trick. You know he does. You know he's got a trick. And he'd get rid of one of, one of my defenders. If he gets rid of one of my defenders, that's one less damage that I get to do to him next turn. Because he has to kill me in two turns. All right, so he's getting extra copies of stuff. That's fine. I figured he was going to do that. This card is stupid. Wish I had a way to get rid of that card. Um, okay, so. I think I play this. I play this. So it's going to let me do six. 
Okay, so now the question is, do I make this into a... Okay, so I need one, two, three. I need three mana. So I could turn one thing into a creature. If I turn one thing into a creature... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six, so I could do six to him right now. I still have access to this, but I wouldn't be able to kick it. Which I don't really need to kick it right now. So I think we're just going to do this first. Without the kicker. And then I get the ability to draw and discard. So we'll take the action. We'll draw and discard. Um, I think we discard this guy. Let's see. Do I take this? I think I put the land on bottom. If I take this, I can play it. It gives me another blocker. But I can't actually drain him this turn if I do that. Um... Let's see. What is my best option here? I have no way to block either of these, so I'm going to be taking at least six next turn. Um, I, I think I just put them both on bottom at this point. Oh, Lily. You beautiful whore, you. All right. Um, so I think we just pass turn. So Lily... Lily could have some potential next turn. Because I have the... Uh, I can do this on his turn. I don't have to do this on my turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six creatures with Defender. So I can do six to him. And then untap and do the final four. As long as I have at least four creatures with Defender left after combat. So he can do six right here. So we will block this here. Um... Because we can't not block that at this point. He's doing six. It's going to hit there. That's fine. Activate this ability. You take six. Activate this ability. Yeah! Woohoo! Alright, we won a game with defenders. Nice. All right, we're going we're just going to run it back the same way. Hopefully we can win another game with Defender. That that was actually pretty fun. So, yeah, the Defenders it I, it'd be nice if they had bigger a little bit bigger butts. So, we've seen 26 cards out of his deck so far. Um Yeah. So, we know he has two copies of Grifton Protector. Uh we've seen Shore up. I think we've seen two copies of Shore up. Yeah, I don't know. Um, the Tolarian Terror. Did he have Tolarian Terror? Or was that the last guy? That might have been the last person that I played. I don't know. Okay, so I'm waiting on my opponent. He's going to probably go first, I assume. Okay, so this hand looks like it is keepable. Um, I play this turn one. I have SS Scatter available. Probably not doing this anytime soon, but we do have it available if we really need it. We have our three main colors of land. Because blue, green, and black, I think, were the colors we had the most of. Red and white were the colors we had the least of. So, in fact, we have the three main colors. We will take that. And I now have this available as well. So, next turn, I will have Essence Scatter available if need be. Hopefully, I draw a land. So, that turn four, I can play the turtle. Because I would like to get the turtle out. Okay, so he has that guy. That's fine. You know what? Um, yeah, we'll play the land this turn that's untapped instead of playing this uh, because I can play that next turn. I don't really have a three drop I want to do next turn. I can hold Essence Scatter up this way. I can play this next turn tap, and then I can hold this up as well. So pass. Okay. Yeah, so we just go back to my turn. And we'll play this. 
Um, and then we're just going to pass. We're not going to give him the ability to attack. And we are going to Essence Scatter. There we go. That worked out good. So this will now be three. Oh, do I have another Black Land? Do I have another Black Land? No, I do not. All right, so we're going to play this, and then we will play this guy. If I had another Black Land, I'd so play Lily. Lily is the queen. That is, that's going to be annoying. In fact, he's going to be able to make Wooburg every turn now. I still don't have a land to play Lily with. Um, so the question is, do I turn him into a 3-3? Three, three? Um, I could just go ahead and kill this. Turn him into a 3-3 three, three and attack. Or I turn him into a 3-3. Three, three. Let's see. Let's cancel. So let's, see, so let's tap this and this to turn him into a 3-3. Three, three. Move to combat. We'll attack with both of these. We'll see if he does any blocking. Because he could expect me to maybe have some kind of shenanigans or something. He's tapped out right now, so he can't do any shenanigans. Alright, so he is just going to take it, so that's fine. And then we are going to play this, which is going to let me domain for four, three, four. Um, so do I take that? Do I, I think I just want a black land. Is there a black land? There is a black land. We'll take the black land. All right. So I play the black land next turn and I can play Lily. I can make each of us discard a card and I'll discard bone splinters. And then we can just both start playing off the top of our deck and I'll have ability to scrap. That sounds good to me. Um, I'm sure he has some kind of trick here, so I'm not going to block. Yeah. If I blocked, he's clearly attacking into it for no reason other than, you know, just because. So we're going to play Lily. We're going to say each player discards a card. And he concedes. Okay. <laughs> All right, so he he did not like seeing Lily hit the battlefield, so we won that match. All right, so he did not like the defender shenanigans, so we won a match with defenders. So let's see if we can win two matches with defenders. So this hasn't been as bad as I thought it would be. I would like to have a few more defenders. Like, if every creature in my deck was defender, that would be ideal. Um, but, you know, like, every creature in my deck could be defender. Like Everything that wasn't a defender basically be kill spells and draw spells. Um, let's see, so I don't think I keep this. Yeah, I don't have black mana, and I really need black mana with this hand. Yeah, so we're going to mulligan this. Um, I think I do keep this. And I think I put this on the bottom. Yeah, we'll keep this, and we'll put this guy on the bottom. We'll, we'll play this turn one. We'll have access to cut down. We'll have access to ways to draw and all kinds of crap. So um, so we will pass, and I'm going to probably impulse first. So we get to his end step. We will impulse. So um, all right, we're going to take a land here. We're probably going to take this land. Yeah, we'll take this land. So go to my turn, draw a turn, we play this land tap, and we will pass turn, and we have access to cut down, and we also have access to joint exploration. I won't get to do the kicker for joint exploration, but I will get to scratch tooth and draw a card, so I can potentially find another thing that I do want. Let's see, so it says flash reinforcement, enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one soldier token. Okay, sure. I did put Essence Scatter on the bottom of my deck. Because I took um, this land instead of Essence Scatter. If I'd had Essence Scatter, I could have countered it, but I'm not too worried about 1 1s right now. So, let's see what he does. I don't even remember seeing this card. It's Uncommon Flash. Wow. Um, yeah, that's fine. I think I just go ahead and join Exploration. 
So, do I let's see? I don't even have white paint on right now. Yeah, so this will go on the bottom. Or do I? Because I wouldn't be able to play it anyway. I think I just put both of those on the bottom and just hope for something a little better. Okay, well, I did get a defender that I can't play, so that's good. Um, so we'll play a land and we will play this defender and we have cut down available. So, and this is going to let me start filtering through my deck a little bit. I'll be able to draw and discard, draw and discard when I play these instants and sorcerers that I have in my hand. So we will pass, we will go to block here. And if he has some kind of trick, then I'll just cut it down. Um, does he, let's see, do I even bother cutting this down right now? I think I do, because I think I just want to draw and discard. Take action. Uh, we'll put the land in the graveyard, because I'd rather have the kill spell. And I'm looking for another black land is what I'm really looking for. So, um, you know what? Yeah, we'll just go ahead and play this out. So we now have two defenders out. So, And then next turn, I'll be able to potentially play two of these spells and be able to filter twice if I need to. If I can find the extra black land, it'll be good there. And this defender has power, so he can actually kill things that attack. So it kind of comes a question here with his 1-1s, one does he even bother attacking? I keep this, well, he's going to, of course, get rid of one of my creatures. He's going to get rid of the 2-4. And I have no way to get rid of um, enchantments, which sucks. Um, okay, so we have a land. We play the black land because it, I mean, I need black lands. So, um, then I think we just pass turn. I don't think we do anything. We block. If he tries to do some kind of pump spell or something, then we kill. But we're not going to right now. He doesn't have another creature. Yeah, I don't think we bother killing anything right now. So we play another land. Pass turn. Because I, I went ahead and played that. I could have held a land. Um, okay, so that's fine. It's going to enter the battlefield. When it enters, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and do this. Do I kicker it? Um, do I need to kicker it? I don't think I need to kicker it. Uh, yeah, I think we'll go ahead and kick her just in case he has some kind of pump spell. Because I still have the ability to do this. So we will take the action, draw, and discard. Um, even though I don't have access to white, I think I throw the land in the graveyard at this point. Because I'd rather keep the, these spells in hand. Because this is going to let me tap something down for three turns. This is going to let me kill something. I'd rather have those than a land. So... And I don't want to have to deal with the flyer because I have no way to block flyers. So and that's a sorcery, so I have to do that on my turn. Alright, so what does this do? Alright, so I'm not playing this right now because I don't have any creatures I want to sacrifice. Uh, no attacks at the top of X cards. Yeah, we're not going to deal with that. I think we're just going to go ahead and kill that guy. Yeah, we will take action. Um, yeah, I think I discard the land. Kill that, and I gain three life. So that's that's a good key with that. So, in turn... I need to find some more defenders. Come on, people. Where are my defenders at, bro? I need defenders, homie. All right, and there's that guy. And there's a, well, two of them. Okay. Well, guess what? We're casting this guy. And then we're going to pass. And so next turn, I can... Um, what would be my next? I can't... I, I can actually cast him until they have flash, though. Yeah! There we go. That sounds good. That sounds good. So, yeah, I attack with him. And before we do the blocks, I tap this and this down. Okay, so it's going to enlist. It's going to become a four. So we'll pass. We will block this like that. 
If he has shenanigans, I can sacrifice this to kill. Okay, he plays that. So he does he get a one one? I think yeah, he get it's a one one. All right, so he is going wide. So, all right, we are going to move to combat. We're going to attack. We're going to pay two. So we're going to pay blue and black. And then we are going to cast this. Getting a copy of it. So we're going to hit this. And we're going to hit this. Killing both. Going to take an action there. Draw and discard. Um, I think I discard the bone splinters. Yeah. And then I can also, is it just the next one? Yeah, it's just the next one. So he only has three power blockers. So I think we're safe attacking with that. So he takes five, but then I play this guy out. So I have another blocker available. He only has one card in hand. So next turn, I think I attack with this and tap this down. Let's see, so yeah, so we're going to move to combat. Oh, you suck, dude. That sucks that you have that as your oh my god, you suck, man. You know what? While this is available, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna tap this guy down for three turns. We'll take this action. Um we'll discard this. Scribe, we'll put that on the bottom. Alright. And no attacks. That sucks. Alright. Let's see. This is not going real good because I'm not hitting any of my defenders, man. I'm not hitting defenders. It stinks. All right, so we'll block. All right, there is a defender. So I now have a defender that can block and kill things. In fact, when he tucked that, that, that hurt right there. Taking this away from me, that really hurt. Taking this away from me hurt too. Because, I mean, that's just a good, okay, we'll, this is good. We'll get this guy. So he's going to let me go find a defender. He still has a card in hand. So we're going to take the action. Which defender do I want? Is the question. Do I want this one? I think I want this one. Yes. And then we will play this one. Because it is a 3-3. Three, three. Um, and I don't think I play this land. Because if I draw an instant or sorcery, I want to have something to discard to this ability. But yeah, I can start draining him for four. So in turn, so this will untap after this turn. Play the land. Still have no way to block the flyer. Okay. Cards are in his life. He has 20. I only have 14 cards in my library. Yeah, I've gone through a lot of cards. Um, all right, I think we're just going to pass turn. And yeah, at the end of his turn, I think I'm going to mill him with this. And then I'm going to drain him for four. Well, not drain, but make him lose four. Yeah, so we'll start milling him and making him lose life. Has he got some kind of pump spell? No? Okay. Alright, so we are going to do this. Mill him for four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to do this and make him lose four. Alright. So let's see what we draw. Alright, so we drew the turtle. Alright, so we have another good defender. 
and this is going to let me scry as well. So I'm going to play this. I'm going to pass. And so the, I will probably drain him as opposed to that. This should have, def I don't know why this doesn't have defender. It's a 2-5. Come on, people. It should be a defender. Um, let's see, do I mail him in response to him doing this? You know what? No, I'll let him draw. That's fine. So the question becomes now is, am I better off milling him or taking his life? Because he has 13 cards in his library. He just drew a card. And he's going to draw. So let's see. Let's math it out. Okay, so he has 13 cards. If I mill him for four now, he'll go down to nine. Then he'll draw for turn. He'll go down to eight. Uh, I don't know which one's going to be better for me to do. If I take four life from him right now, I think... I think taking the life is going to be the better thing for me to do right now. Oh, yeah, he's going to hit that. Okay, so we're going to do the life in response. Yeah. So he topped that. Okay, so let's see what I get here. All right, so I get this. So I'm going to play it. Get to go get the land. So I'm back to four defenders. Um, we will take, doesn't really matter, we'll take this one. So he's seen this land, so we'll go ahead and play it. Um, next, so one, two, three, four, five. So I only have five mana available, so I can't scry and do this. Ah, uh, you suck, dude. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Take you to three. So, yeah, so he is at three. I think, unless he has a way to kill another one of my defenders, I just have him next turn by doing this. So yeah, I think doing the life was better than doing the milling. I didn't think about that guy being able to kill this. Does he have to tap to do that? No, he just pays one and sacrifices it. He could have done that a lot earlier. Alright, so he's going to draw and discard. And I have defenders, so yeah. So of course I'm going to block. I'm going to block. I'm going to block. So there we go. So I go to four. Does he have a way to kill any of my defenders? No. All right, let's play this one. And let's activate the ability. He goes negative one. All right, so we won another game with defenders. So I don't know if we're going to win the match, but we won the game. So we are up one nothing. Um... Based on the things I saw in his deck, I don't know as though I want to do anything. If I take something out, I think I take this out and bring a lightning strike in. Maybe. Or do I bring in... Let's see, what all did I see in his deck? Um, let's see. Do I have a way to bounce things? I don't think I have any way to bounce any his enchantments or anything. I need to bounce it an enchantment is what I need really need to be able to do. But I don't think I have a way to do that. Um draw two cards, make him discard. Whatever creature I control does. Let's see. You know, I think we take the lightning strike out. I think we bring this in, potentially. Yeah, we'll put her in, because I have a lot of instances of sorceries, and that's going to give me some some potential draw and discard as well. It's another way for me to draw cards and discard cards. So, Okay, I do not think I can keep this. If I had blue, I would keep this, but I don't have blue, so we're going to have to mulligan. All right, we'll keep, and we'll put this on bottom, because this is the thing we're farthest away from playing, and we want to be able to play Lily on turn three with a defender. All right, so we're going to play this instead, because it's going to give me my blue for the defender next turn anyway. So we'll play land, play defender. And then it becomes a question of, do I play this next turn? Oh, wow. Okay, that's... What does this do? Wow, that's... Yeah. 
so that that happens. Um, okay, so I think I play. Yeah, so we're gonna play an untapped land and play this defender because I want to. I want to be able to block this. And of course, he's gonna exile that. You suck. You suck. You suck, you suck, you suck. All right, so we're going to play this, and we're going to play Lily, and we're going to make you sacrifice a creature. How about that? You suck a creature, and you only have one. So there you go. All right. If I'd played that last turn, he would have done this and taken my Lily, which would stunt. All right, so we're going to play this land. He's got a 5-4, which is going to stink, but I do have a blocker for it. So we'll play this, and then I'm going to say each player discards a card. And I guess I'm going to discard cut down. Yeah. So I'll discard cut down, because that's not going to take care of this guy anyway. So, um, I think I just have to block with this, right? Yeah, I think I have to block with this. Try to make him deal with Lily outside of that. So Lily's at two. Okay, so I think I played this defender. Played this defender. And then I say discard a card. And I have no cards in here. So I get all my stuff out. Yeah. All right. And then this can block that. Oh, okay. So now he's going to kill my defender. So you suck. All right. I think I just have to let him kill Lily at this point. It's not worth me defending Lily and losing all my creatures for no gain whatsoever. Um, so I have a land. Um, let's see. So I can actually... Turn that into a 4 4. Do this, attack for 7. He attacks me back for 9. Yeah, I don't think that's worth doing. Can I undo? Yeah, we're just. We're going to cancel. Yeah. I think I'm probably just dead. Yeah, him that 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 right there is what's gonna kill me. That five four. Him taking away my two four that could have blocked and killed this. Yeah. I don't know what he's waiting on. Let's see, so I don't think. Let's see. Yeah, because you can't activate that. Yeah. We're going to say no blocks. I don't care. I'm going to lose this game. I'm going to mill him. Alright, so he has a citizen's arrest. That's annoying. Okay. True to mill him and see what all cards I can see. Get a little bit better look at some of his deck. So let's play this defender and then let's mill him for three. Just so I can see a little bit more of his deck. Alright, so we got a knight, chick, and that. So I've seen two of those. Um, yeah, so we'll concede and go to game three. So I'm basically just dead there at this point. 
yeah, that was not a very good start. So I think we keep the deck the same. I don't think we change anything. So we'll see if I can win two matches with defenders. If I can win this game, then okay. And I can't keep this hand. Wow. Okay, so I think we keep this, and I think we put this on bottom because we can't play it. So, yeah. So, keep. Put this on bottom because I can't play it right now. And I think I play this first. And then I think I play this next turn and go get a land. Yeah, I'll play this and go get a land. So, what am I missing? So, I'm missing three of my really good spells. So, essentially a removal spell, draw, and then essentially a removal spell. Um, so, I think I take... I've got blue mana. I don't think I have anything that costs double blue. I do have double black. We'll take the black land. We'll take the black red. Alright, so we'll play this, and then we're just going to... You know what? We'll wait... And see if he casts some kind of spell or does something to make it bigger. If he does something to pump it, then we'll kill it. No blocks before damage. Kill it. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so I think we play this and then we play this. So this is the one that lets me sacrifice a creature and gain life. I don't really have a lot of creatures I'm going to want to sacrifice, though. If he attacks, I'm... Let's see. Top X, where X is its power. Yeah. So we'll be killing that here in a minute. And what does it do? Let's see. You put S on them. Okay, so evidently he didn't exile anything. Um, we're not going to block because I'm not going to let him try to kill one of my defenders. Um, this is a 3-3 three, three Vigilance Trample. That's annoying. Um, I'll tell you what. Let's play this land. The question is now, do I kill this or do I kill it? I think I killed that, because that's more... Let's see, what does this do? It attacks other attacking creatures. Um, okay, yeah, so I think I just get rid of this right now. And then next turn I can play this and go find another defender. And I'll probably get the defender that lets me drain them. Um, I think I say no blocks. Currently. And then here comes the 5-4. Alright, so we'll play a land. I think I play this. Take action. Um, now the question becomes, which one do I want? I think I want the one that lets me drain them. Yeah. And then I'm going to bone splinters. We're going to get rid of this thing. Sacrificing this. I don't want to have to sacrifice one of my defenders, but we got to get rid of that 5-4. Because this, I, can, I have nothing that can block that 5-4 and kill it. Other than the other 5-4 that I have in my deck. Yeah, so I have no way to block that and kill it. So we just have to block. So I think this turn, what I do is play this and then see what I draw. I'd like to draw Lily. Lily would be a good draw. If I draw Lily, I could play Lily and this and make them sack their creature. If this is the only creature they have. So we will say no blocks. I will take the three. If he has a pump spell, he has a pump spell. Because I don't want my defenders dying just yet. Because I'm going to be able to start draining him. Well, not draining, but, you know. Alright, so he has this stupid thing. Why he didn't play that first and equip it, I don't know. Right, he probably has some kind of, like, instant or sorcery. And he was trying to get me to jump in and block. Um, okay, so let's play this. And let's play this. Alright. So he's just going to attack with that. And I need a way to kill his flyer. 
If I don't find a way to kill this flyer, then I'm just going to be dead. Um, so I guess we play this. And I guess we pass. And I'm going to be taking four in the air again. I can drain him for four. I, well, I can take four life from him at the end of his turn. I do have the ability to draw and discard next turn, so I have two chances to try to find um, an instant or sorcery. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. We'll discard this. We'll play this. Now, the question is if I sacrifice this, turn instant sorcery from your graveyard this turn. Okay, so actually, I could have, I could have sacrificed this to get a kill spell to kill that. Which I might have to just I just might have to do that next turn. Um, let's see, I could turn this into a five-five and attack with it. One, two, that would leave me three, so I'd still be able to do this. Yeah, let's do that. Let's turn this into a five-five. Because if he doesn't block, he takes five, and then I drain him for five at the end of his turn. And the next turn, I'll sacrifice this. Okay, so he's going to do that. That's an annoying card. And it sucks. And he sucks. So he's targeting that. So in response, I'm going to go ahead and activate this ability so that I get that fifth life off of him. So, yeah. So next turn, I will sacrifice this and get this back from my graveyard to cast. And I'll gain three life. So I'll kill this and gain three life. So that would be good. All right. So we are going to sacrifice this, getting this back, casting this to kill this and gaining three life. And then I play land. So I wasn't a, I'm not going to be able to drain him this turn, but I do have the ability to block him with this. Of course, he's going to throw this on it. So now it's attacking for five. It's a five three. So I'd have to throw two defenders in front of it. He could only kill one. He's gonna get a one one here. Yeah. So he didn't feel the need to attack. So I think I do this. And it puts it on top, which kind of stinks. I wish it put it in hand. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna put this on top. That's that's definitely going on top. Yeah. Um, and then I think we pass turn because we have this now to block and kill something that, and it doesn't take away from my defender count because defender count is a thing. So at end step, we will do this. He takes four. Um, so I think I just pass turn. Oh, this is sorcery though. So we've got to do this this turn. I have to do it on my turn. So we'll tap that down and we will keep that. And then we will pass turn. So I'll take do four to him, untap three four again. If he kills one of them, untap three three. Sure, that's fine. All right, so he is going to attack. Right, so we're gonna pass turn. We're going to block this here. This is the, okay, so this wasn't attacking, so it doesn't keep track because it's when this attacks, right? Yeah. Um, we will block one of these here, and we'll block one of these here. I'm not blocking with this because we don't want it to die. So we'll let that happen. Into his turn, I will do four damage to him. So we'll do four. He goes to three. I untap, and then just do this again. All right, so we actually got there. We won two matches with defenders. We won two matches with defenders. That I was not expecting to be able to win two matches with defenders. When I started drafting it, I was like, yeah, there's no way this, this is going to suck. This is not going to work. But it actually worked. That Wow. Okay, so we got two wins with defenders. That is pretty darn cool, I have to say. So that, that yeah, 
I like it. I actually kind of like that. That was fun. Um, I might actually try to draft defenders again at some point. Uh, let's see what we got. So we got Sulcanard, Sarah Paragon, and Defiled Flesh. All right. So yeah, that was actually pretty cool. I have to say the defenders was not expecting that. Let's go in here and see if my, oh my deck's already gone. Um, let's see. Does it show my deck? Or I didn't save my deck, so it probably isn't going to show me my deck. Um, let's see. Yeah, I didn't save it, so it's not going to be in there. But yeah, I had I had a defender deck that that's pretty awesome. All right. Well, uh, that's going to be it for the video. Um, the so defenders are real, so you can actually draft defenders and do pretty decent in it. Um, like I say, I mean, you just need the right mixture of defenders. You need the one that drains them, the one that mills them, the ones that lets you do instants and sorceries and go get uh, to to loot. Um, yeah, I mean, as long as you've got it, I think you can get there with defenders. I, that first match just did not go real well. Um, I, I could see defenders going 3-0. It, it could happen. I didn't have as many defenders as I would have liked. I would have liked every creature in my deck to be a defender. That would have been ideal. I would have liked to have had like two or three copies of the one that goes and finds a defender. I think that would be ideal if you get two to three copies of that guy. I think that's going to make the deck even better. Um, if you get two to three copies of the guy that drains, or doesn't drain, but like makes them lose life, um, yeah, that would make the deck even better. Um, but yeah, it's, the defenders actually work pretty good. So there you go. Um, defender deck. It's real. So... Try drafting it. See what happens. You never know. If the defenders come to you, take them. Uh, you can actually do pretty good with it. So hopefully you have a good day. Uh, I'll be doing some pre-releases this weekend in real life. So I'm trying to record a few videos to have to sparse out over the next few days. But um, I will be having some promo codes from the Dominaria pre-releases that I will be giving away. If you like, subscribe, and uh, just watch this video. Um, comment on it. I'd appreciate any comments, any feedback. So hopefully you have a good day. Thanks.